there was a time I bled for over a month, every day for 30 days, nonstop. So I had to visit the physician and I was giving a particular drug that would stop the bleeding. And after that, it reoccurred again. They had only tested me for fibroid because of the overflow that I usually have during my monthly period. Clotted blood. Painful, yeah. And then clot heavy slow. Mm. Before I now started having that monthly flow for 30 days. If they give me the medicine, it will stop. And then the next period, it will continue flowing until I visit the doctor. Welcome back to Africa Science Focus, the weekly science and development show from SciDevNet. I'm Ogechie Kanyao. That was Didi, a Nigerian woman who prefers to speak anonymously. She was talking about her experience with uterine fibroids, the topic of this episode of our Science Explained series. In this episode, we looked at the topic of uterine fibroids, a condition affecting many women. Uterine fibroids are non-cancerous tumors composed of smooth muscle cells, fibroblasts, and other materials that develop in or on the wall of the uterus, primarily in women of childbearing age. While some women with fibroids show no symptoms, others experience significant challenges such as heavy and painful menstruation, abdominal and back pain, and complications affecting pregnancy and fertility. Didi shares her personal journey of living with fibroids, shedding light on the impact it had on her daily life with our reporter, Pusala Ajibola. In my late 40s, I just had a um, fever and I went to the hospital. And after all tests done, the doctor, we had a conversation with the doctor and the doctor was like, um, black people are very prone to fibroid that they want me to go for a scan and check when I have fibroid. I thought he took the scan paper, but he never went for the fibroid test until in 2021, when I was experiencing heavy bleeding, I visited the doctor and I was asked to go for scan. That was when I was diagnosed with fibroid. You cannot use your normal pad like others. You need to like double your sanitary pad. And it's not the normal regular pad. It has to be pad meant for heavy flow. The heavy baby, clotted blood coming out and the heavy flow. No, it wasn't pleasant and it's quite consuming. So I shall, on two occasions, I saw it car traveling and I had to saw the car because I was flowing. That's why the father used every sanitary. So it was embarrassing, really embarrassing. That was at that point. It was at that point I told myself it was time for me to take it out. Maureen Umemwa Umeakwebulu, a consultant obstetrician and gynecologist at the National Hospital of Abuja, Nigeria, and head of the gyne oncology unit, talked to our reporter Busola about the effects of fibroid. To listen to the rest of this podcast episode, click on the link in the description below.